Hi, I've pretty much finished the uh, Dave Bradwell chassis kit for a B1. Um, this is some video of it now it's got all of its valve gear completed. Uh, this is the first time I've built Walsh's valve gear, so it's been quite a challenge, but I've thoroughly enjoyed putting this kit together. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Bradwell for his uh, support uh, via email in the Scale 4 forum. Uh, I particularly like the fact that you can actually see the piston valves moving backwards and forwards. I think that looks really rather nice. Uh, obviously it is uh, permanently stuck in forward gear, I think, uh, trying to make the valve gear work uh, as it changed direction would have been a little bit too much. There's a slight tight spot which I um, think I'm putting down to um, the slightly off-centre um, Alan Gibson crank pin bosses um, and I'm hoping I can sort that out when I take the whole thing apart and, uh, and paint the chassis. But uh, I'm generally rather pleased with the way that's working. It's uh, now got a tender which I've coupled on the back and uh, taking it off the rolling road gives it a chance to stretch its legs um, and as you can see it's uh, negotiating its way quite well around my 40 inch radius curve which is pretty tight for scale 4 but uh, works for me and it's now holding the road quite well which is, which is very good it's, uh, not falling off, making its way over the crossover and then in towards the platform of Claire. Now you'll see at the far end of Clare Station I've started doing some more scenic work and uh, the reason it comes to a juddering halt in a moment is because uh, somebody hadn't cleaned the track after attacking it with an airbrush. Going back the other way through the loop um, there's a slight vibration noise which seems to be coming from something loose in the tender. We'll, we'll sort, sort that out, on, out in a minute. And there we go. Coming back uh, under the bridge. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.